My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a firecracker for you right here. 1965 Corvette Roadster. It's been body off the frame restored by DM Corvette. Numbers matching 327, 300 horse, four speed, 336 posi rear, side pipes, and knockoff wheels. This is an exciting little car. I was just saying before we started filming, incredible. Cruising down the road, shifting gears with side pipes and the top down. It's an awesome experience. Here's your chance to try it for yourself. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find the price tags on over 200 cars we have in stock right now for sale. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Tops down, join me. Let's go for a spin. Okay, there was a collector who recently passed away, he had about six or seven or eight cars in a dry, clean building. Uh, he owned this car about 20 years, hardly used it. He passed away. A close friend of his took a couple of the cars, had them serviced. This is one of them. He had it serviced front to back, inspected. Uh, so it's turnkey, ready to drive. DNM Corvette did the restoration 20 years ago actually 21 years ago they did not do the body and paint this body and paint is over 20 years old what they did they took the body off the frame did the entire chassis underneath the car is concourse quality it's restored and detailed like a new 65 corvette you have raw fiberglass floors they're the yellow fiberglass that's the way they left the factory they were not painted over when there's damage or repairs, that's when people paint over them to hide the repairs. But these are clean, raw fiberglass floors. It has the complete spare tire carrier. The whole chassis was disassembled and sent out to Ready Strip. It was stripped down and all the chassis was painted black. All of it was rebuilt. The ball joints, the bushings, the shocks, the springs, uh, the rear independent suspension, all that's been redone. Uh, I was 20 years ago, but probably not even 500 miles on it. You look up at the motor, uh, that was rebuilt. And the motor is spotless on the bottom, has the correct screw-on canister type oil filter that they used back then. The starter, the fuel pump, the motor mounts, all that still looks fresh. It has its original VIN number matching Muncie four-speed transmission. Uh, that was rebuilt, has a new Hurst linkage in it. Uh, the U-joints were replaced at the time. In back, it has the original 336 Posi rear end. Uh, it is coded to this car and dated. This is the first year for disc brakes, and it has them at all four wheels. Uh, at the time of restoration, they were all rebuilt. Just recently, part of the service uh, that was done, it got two calipers, and they bled the system uh, and went through it. Uh, the e-brake assembly is all hooked up. Uh, part of the recent service, they also drained all the fuel and fuel lines. They went through the whole fuel system. Uh, sending unit was replaced. Uh, so the whole bottom of this car, like concourse condition, look at the pictures on our website. Now the car presents itself really well, especially out in the daylight. I went around the car with the guy and I was really impressed. Now that I'm in here under the lights, and I'm inspecting it, there are flaws in the paint. Uh, the body is real nice. There's no damage, no busted fiberglass. Everything fits very nicely. Uh, so the body, I think, is really good. Uh, the headlights do open and close. Um, but getting back to the paint, the hood's a little fuzzy. Uh, glossy, nice bright rally red, it's glossy. The bumpers were replaced, the uh, cross flags were replaced. The very front edge of the hood is touched up. Maybe at one time it was rubbing when, when they were opening it. This is all nice. There's like a little 
spider web on the paint, a little crackle in the paint, probably something from underneath hit it. Uh, windshield's probably original, some faint scratches. The stainless is straight, but it's a little dull. Uh, vent window frame has some real mild freckles. Side exhaust is excellent. Uh, this is all beautiful. The knockoff wheels are reproduction. They were put on new when the car was restored uh, in 2020, or uh, in the year 2000. The radial tires are brand new. Those were just put on as part of this service I was talking about. All this fits real nice. It has a removable hardtop. It painted to match the car. Anytime, all these Corvettes leave a mark from the hard and the soft top. So there is a faint mark in the paint. Most of it would probably still buff off. Couple imperfections right in here. And right next to this emblem, you can look at the pictures on our website. We posted a picture. There's little pimples right here in the paint. The rear bumpers are probably an eight out of 10. They were replaced, but they're not brand new anymore. Gas cap looks brand new. Power antenna was rebuilt, it works. There's another star in the paint. Uh, it looks like a little spider web and it's lifted a little bit. Door jams are nice, sill plates look new. The weather strips are nice and soft. Uh, and actually it'll come with the receipts from when D&M restored the car. I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars were spent and that was 21 years ago. I didn't add it up, but off the top of my head at a glance, I seen at least 20,000 in work. Uh, <clears throat> the interior was redone, so the interior is excellent. I noticed the interior lights are working. There's new cushions in the seat, so they're nice and firm, and the new upholstery fits tight as a drum. Uh, the dash pads are real nice. The gauges were restored as a new speedometer head, tachometer is rebuilt, as a quartz movement clock. The radio turns on. I, I didn't put the antenna up. I clicked it on and it came on. The knobs are real nice. Carpet front to back was replaced. Has some nice Corvette floor mats. Has a car cover. Uh, seat belts look like reproductions. The center console is really nice shape. Glove box liner was replaced. The light in there works. The glove box door is like a brushed aluminum or stainless. It has some light scratches on it. Uh, and then a couple cracks on the bottom of the steering wheel. Other than that, the interior is pretty much like new. That's uh, a white convertible top. That also looks new. It's a real crisp, bright white top. Uh, and the hard top, the trim, the weather strips, the rear window, I'm going to say all that's good. Um, and the, the paint matches in real nice shape. We need to open the hood. I was ready to call it quits. We haven't even talked about the motor. It is a numbers matching 327, 300 horse. I've looked at the codes and the stamp carefully and it looks proper to me. The dates, the castings, everything lines up. Uh, and the motor compartment is also completely restored. I would like to say the concourse condition because I see all the original manifolds, all the ignition shielding, even the lower shielding, uh, reproduction GM hoses and clamps. The clutch fan looks like it's new or restored. Uh, it has the overflow expansion bottle with the right cap and GM hoses going to it. Um, everything, the squirter bottle, the steering box, the suspension that's showing, everything in here is, looks like new. It has the correct dual snorkel air cleaner, few imperfections in the chrome lid. Uh, it has the right fuel, fuel filter. Uh, it has the choke tube going down to the manifold, the right valve covers. Uh, so it's a really nice motor compartment. Everything on this car is excellent, with the exception of the body, or I should say the paint and the windshield, which are very nice. But the interior, the motor compartment, and the chassis are pristine, really excellent. Uh, it has a Delco battery with a disconnect switch and the spring clamp battery cables. So there you have it, got an awesome car, and I'm telling you, there's nothing like going down them back rows, shifting those gears, listening to these pipes. Uh, it's just an awesome feeling.
That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the sales staff. If you have questions or concerns, they can help you the best they can. They can also get this car delivered to your driveway, and they can even help with financing. Go to volocars.com. And if you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just click on that bell icon, and that way you're notified when a new one's posted. Thanks for watching.